I'm a big fan of PBS's The Idea Channel on YouTube. They presented an idea with the question, could space travel make us all better human beings? Now this may not be possible in our lifetimes, but space travel is becoming more and more likely to be a tourism thing, you know, privatized. And this all stems back to overview effect. Overview effect is the term used to describe the change in behavior experienced by people who have had a romp in the stars. It's characterized by feelings of bliss, profound awareness, and universal interconnectedness, which just sounds awesome. Literally. The idea is that if many people could go into space and experience this for themselves, would this make us better human beings? Would this essentially save our souls through <laughs> space travel? Yeah. So in, in the original video, what I think is most interesting, and I definitely, definitely recommend you go watch the video, it's like f five, six minutes long, but it's definitely worth it. There's a lot of information there. He talks about the fact that when you are looking you know, you're going about your daily life, you're looking at the, the place that you're in, you see like road signs and you see barriers between states and you see signs that indicate the, you know, a border crossing to another country. And you're continually being reminded of the fact that we, we're not part of a world community. We're part of our neighborhood or our town or our city, state, country, whatever, continent even. But when you're outside of the atmosphere and you're just looking at the planet, all you see is Earth, and it, and it makes you see it as one thing that you are from, which, which could be good. And I realize that plane travel isn't the same thing, but we're so used to just being able to hop on a plane to go from Austin to Houston or whatever. It just seems like the most standard thing anyone could do. But at one point, plane travel was not for everyone. It was incredibly expensive. And so while space travel in the near future might cost $500,000, maybe over time that gradually goes lower and lower and it reaches the point where the average person can pay for it. I think that this is an idea that's been out there for a while, that if you're a fan of, say, Star Trek or something like that, there, the Earth is one unified thing. Hell, all of these alien cultures are unified in the Federation. Like, that's an idea that at least, I, I guess, liberal nerds cling to, the idea that once we get to that point, we're gonna advance past these, these petty differences. The extent is, we understand the world in, as acquisition as history as mm -hmm. as way people understand it like when you look at a map from above you see borders and you see different colors and you see words mm -hmm. but when you throw that all out yeah would that make us a better person or would i mean would that make I us better that people or would that make us less rooted to our issues as yeah. you know people who have to live in this world with other people and mm -hmm. get through it somehow i mean would it make us better or would it make us very unrealistic, I hate to say it, not down to earth. Well, what, what I was saying before is that I, I, I think that I have the hope and other people who share some of the same entertainment, uh, I guess, interests as I do, have the hope that it'll play out like it did in Star Trek, that, that, mm -hmm. this, that this will be true, that we will, we will be unified. Um, some other people have sort of an Independence Day view on it, that all we need to do is be attacked by an alien race. If we and have suddenly, a common enemy, exactly. we will all be one yeah. in violence. Like, I don't feel that different from a Canadian guy or a Mexican guy when the Romulans are attacking us. So maybe that's true. But it could be that it's not gonna be like that, that when we get to space, it's not gonna be like Star Trek, it's gonna be like Star Wars, or it's gonna be like Battlestar Galactica, where humans will be humans, and we still wanna make money, and you know, maybe there'll be corporate, like we'll feel like we're part of a corporation, or I'm part Yvonne of this Lyme. guild or something. <laughs> it could be, that's, that's a good reference. Um, yeah, so I think that that's the interesting debate that people can hash out in the comments if they want. Is it going to be like Star Trek, where we're relatively unified against the Borg threat? Or is it going to be that we're still fighting over credits and we're still fighting over, you know, one guild against another? Is the world going to be run by space corporations Maybe. killing each other and camping at stargates I don't know if they're for camp, supremacy but. and credits and sh 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 stuff? Yeah, <laughs> so like that.